Hello students. Yes, uh, so in today's uh, video, I'll be explaining on the topic called a risk. Again, this is one of the most important topics, you know, where you have to focus more because you can, this is one of the important questions what you can expect from your exam viewpoint, right? So here we shall understand what is a risk is all about, what's the definition of the risk and how the risk is going to work, what are the different features associated with the risk. Let us understand on that. Firstly, to understand, you know, what this risk is all about. See, a risk is something, you know, like, which is generally associated with the possibility that which is the realized returns of security, you know, it will be less than the returns that were expected. Example, uh, see, uh, you have, you know, uh, deposited in the bank uh, in form of, uh, you know, SB or in it can be in form of FD also. It was told that you will be paid, you know, 3.5% interest rate attached to your FD, right? So due to some uh, uncertainty or any kind of, you know, uh, like unhealthiness of the economy, the financial crisis, what happened? Now the bank is going to decide that, no, I'll just uh, pay it 2% on what you have deposited. That talks about, uh, you know, the risk. It is something like, you know, the possibility that, you know, that you're going to realize the returns of securities, it will be less than the returns that what you expected at the time of investment. So risk is uh, something that which involves, you know, exposure to the danger. It can be of investments in terms of finance, right? There's a probability of a threat that which is going to incur on the actual investment. And again, it will be lower than the expected return as well. So what you got to understand here that, you know, there are uh, multiple forces or numerous uh, forces that contribute, you know, to the variations in the return price or the dividend or it can be interest as well. These forces, you know, they are termed as the elements of risk. They are the different uh, forces that will lead to the factor of a risk. And you have some factors, you know, they are external to the firm and that cannot be, you know, uh, handled, right? Whereas internal, of course, yes, you can minimize. It's not, I can't tell that you can't, you can completely take off. You can somewhere avoid or minimize or cut down it, right? So it can affect the large number of securities in terms of the investments, you know, these forces are absolutely, you know, they're uncontrollable, uh, which is subjected to the external, right? So that's how the things are, are going to work over here. So now what you have to understand with respect to risk is that, you know, risk is that which uh, provides the basis for the opportunity and the risk you know it refers to the probability of loss that you can incur out of the investment what you have made while you know the exposure is possibility of uh, you know the loss that is a risk that which arises as a result of the exposure that's how the things are going to work fine so here you know, in a global marketplace where you are going to reach out all over the world, where you can uh, do your investment all over the world, you know, there are many opportunities for the risk. Fair, you know, uh, losses may not be limited to one geographical or with respect to, you know, a domestic, uh, you know, market. Right. So that's how things are going to work. And apart from that, a risk is something, you know, which is said to be the potential problem. Like, you know, it might happen and it might not happen. Whereas a uh, risk concept, you know, it, it, it is always concerned with the future happenings, the event that which is going to, you know, occur in the uh, future and the risk that involves, you know, uh, the changes in mind, uh, uh, the opinions, uh, the actions, uh, places, uh, so on and so forth. And, you know, the risk involves the choice and the uncertainty, you know, that choice entails, right? So it always deals with a factor of uh, uncertainty where the risk may or may not happen. That is, there is no 100% risk. You can't predict like that. You never know. Uncertainty is something which you cannot predict. Whereas on the other hand, a risk is something where you can predict. Example, I've told it, right? The risk of loss. When you have newly entered the prevailing competitive market the first thing is that you will have to let go of the cost you will have to incur more uh, you know the funds or amounts on advertising on marketing you will have to bring in the awareness among the you know consumers in the prevailing market so of course in the first year you will not make the profits where you will have to let go of lots of cost so uncertainty is something which is not known until that particular you know event uh, happens only when you ex 
experience you will then you will sit and you know analyze what can be done how this particular you know a crisis can be overcome right that's how things are going to work on the other hand you have uh, the loss a uh, loss basically you know it talks about the risk you know which uh, becomes a reality and any kind of unwanted consequences or you know any kind of losses are going to occur right so there are many kind of you know uh, the risk management initiatives that are you know like uh, available such as you know you have a uh, credit risk you have a uh, settlement and pay payment system initiatives you know like which have been introduced by or for the financial institutions and there are certain things like you know several major international in initiatives you know which have been undertaken to reduce the financial risk and the systematic risk as well so what you have to understand about the risk is that see the portion you know of total variability on the return it causes by the factors affecting the prices of you know all the securities that talks about systematic risk see here under risk you have two aspects one is a systematic risk another one is unsystematic risk where we shall understand on both the risks you know in detail in my uh, next uh, consecutive uh, videos all right so now, now we shall understand what's the definition of a risk so what does definition uh, talk about risk is something which is a potential that's what i told potential problem of an organization where that is you know uh, losing something of value or the weighted against the potential where you're gonna get something in return uh, the value right where it uh, talks about uh, the value such as the physical health the social uh, status you know emotional uh, well-being all this will lead to the you know it can be the financial uh, wealth as well so it all talks about the factor of uh, you know the risk so now we shall understand what are the various uh, features associated with risk yes uh, so uh, the first uh, characteristics or the features of risk what we have is on time based uh, rather i would put like this you know uh, which is situational and time based see the situational is that you know uh, the changes in a situation can also result in new risk isn't it so such changes you know it includes you know uh, replacing a team member who is who was indulged in planning all these you know portfolios which is attached with the risk and undergoing a reorganization or any kind of changes in the scope of the project would also affect and it also you know can be one of the uh, risks right uh, the features of a risk and it is always time based see uh, in this particular case you know the probability of the risk uh, occurring at the beginning of the project is a uh, very very high because uh, there is an unknown factor and it diminishes you know along as the project uh, progresses in contrast you know the impact that is the cause from a risk occurring is low at the beginning and higher at the end so you will have to determine the time so always the risk is a uh, time based the next step what you have is uh, interdependence now what does interdependence talk about see within the projects or any kind of portfolio you take up many tasks and you know deliverables are interdependent on each other and these delays you know in these tasks will have a cascading effect also on the related tasks as well so they are you know interdependent and the result could be a domino effect as well right so again this is one of the important features of a risk the next of what you have is magnitude are dependent what does it talk about see the relationship you know between the probability and the impact is not linear in this particular kind of a risk concept see uh the magnitude magnitude of the risk it makes a lot of difference example you know consider the risk of you know spending dollar 1 rupee for 50 50 chance in order to uh, win dollar 5 you know versus the risk of spending dollar 1000 for a 50 50 chance of winning dollar 5000 since the probability of loss is same in both the cases that is 50 percent in terms of both me spending 1 rupee you know or 1 dollar and uh, you know waiting for the chance to get uh, 50 50 that is a uh, five dollars and in in terms of spending one thousand dollars and chances of winning five thousand dollars as well in both the scenarios i've kept it that is uh, the probability of loss is the same that is 50 percent so the opportunity cost of losing you know it is much greater in the latter uh, case that's how the things are going to work under the risk 
The next up is a value base. That is, see, the risk may be affected by, you know, in terms of a personal for individual, corporates, or any kind of cultural values. For example, you know, completing a project on schedule may be dependent on the time of the year. And on the nationalities, there can be such a religious beliefs of the work team as well. So, projects being done, you know, in the international locations where multiple cultures are involved may, might have also, you know, the higher risk than those, you know, done in a single location with a similar kind of a work force. Again, this can also be uh, one of the risks. And the next up is impact. See, impact talks about, see, whenever an individual, see, it can be uh, the company or the government, wherever they are taking an initiative to make an investive investment, the uh, basic criteria of pouring your money or putting your money in terms of you know purchasing assets or uh, you know buying shares that is investing in shares or investing in debentures bonds ADRG whatever it is it can be in project as well the basic motto is to generate the return right that's how the impact here it states about what is the relation between the risk what I have taken with with the associated risk what I've taken what is the return I am going to get on that particular asset but that's what it talks about so that is all about the risk and the return the last one is uncertainty now what does uncertainty talks about see again uncertainty is one of the types of a risk because i've told you facing uncertainty is also risk right you where you're not prepared for that as and when you you know experience that event only then you'll be able to think about how you have to overcome that uncertainty like this uh, the risk is going to you know get attached with all kind of portfolios or the investments you are going to take up well so here we have uh, two types of uh, you know uh, the risks one is systematic and unsystematic let us learn uh, those uh, two types of uh, risks in detail in my coming video